How can you uh, use Fluent CRM and Fluent Forms uh, on two websites? One website has uh, the Fluent Forms and the other website has the Fluent CRM. And when they um, subscribe to one website with the Fluent Form and they will be adding to the Fluent CRM on another website. So one website has the form and the other uh, website has um, the CRM. Now you must be aware before you're doing this, make sure that your website is uh, uh, secured well. So uh, because uh, when you are going to do these things cross site adding, adding then uh, hackers can be hacking the sites. So um, you must be sure that the security is uh, is good. I have also made an uh, an web, uh, tutorial about that. Click jacking. So uh, just uh, watch that tutorial if you wanna know what I mean. Be aware of that. Now um, maybe is uh, the best that I will show you uh, what I've done. So this is the form. And let's see, because there are no contacts now on the CRM program on this website. And this is this is another website. So this is the website where the form is. This is the preview mode. Let's do just uh, and the conditioning logic. Do you want to subscribe? And I say yes, I want to subscribe. And we have this on the other website. And the list and the dark has been added. So from one website to the other website. Once again, make sure that your website is good secured, both of the websites, of course. And when you're using a share hosting, what I don't recommend uh, recommend, recommend you. Um, <laughs> well, the problems can be uh, huge. But anyway, that's not uh, what this tutorial is about. So the first thing that you have to do is uh, go to the website where you have the Fluent uh, um, CRM. And go to uh, the add-ons and uh, no the add-ons not uh, the automatization no it's not uh, boom 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 uh, settings to forms hey I must be making a mistake the, the, the Fluent CRM has uh, the webhooks by default, but I don't think so because when you go in here and you see here the webhooks, so um, this is the this is the REST IP. You don't have to use this one. Um, the REST IP uh, is also, uh, for example, when you're using a uh, Crocker Block, Jet Engine from Crocker Block, then you have also the REST IP. Let's see if I can show you. What I mean um, is Jet Engine installed here. Um, first, you go into the settings. Let me see if I have installed it. I don't think so. The REST IP list. See here. Then you can use this to, uh, for example, when you when somebody posts something on your website of you or you post it by yourself then uh, it will also be published in another website or on other websites but that is also another uh, tutorial i'm going to show you that later on for the rest ip list but um, that is not the same so don't get confused with the ap's but what we're going to use are the webhooks so um, first you have to uh, go to the incoming webhooks of course, you, are all, all, uh, uh, you, you already made uh, targs and lists with Fluent CRM 
and an automatization or something like that. But uh, that you you can you can watch other tutorials how you can do that. I'm not going to explain this in this video because otherwise it won't be too, will be too long. And then uh, you have to create a new webhook. And when you see here the webhook, then you see here the list. So you can uh, uh, apply it to a list and a talk if you want to. You can make multiple talks and lists. But I've already installed two of them, the one talk and one list. Then you give it a name. And then you have here the AP key and you have to copy this one. You have to uh, you can use it or you have to use it later on and here are all the fields so um, this is are all the fields for the contacts so when uh, there is make the uh, fluency where makes another contact then all those uh, keys will be uh, applied to the uh, contact the first name the last name and the full name the email and so on and so on and uh, these are the custom keys that you can make by yourself but uh, the important thing is the contact fields the default contact fields so when you're going here to uh, uh, all the emails let's see the contact no the customer fields then you can make here the customer fields as much as you want to but uh, let's go back to the webhooks so don't uh, use the rest ip but the webhooks incoming webhook and when we adding it then you can see that you can select sub subscribe or painting uh, whatever you want oh sorry and um, then you go into the other website where you have the form so this is uh, the website where we have the form and the first thing is that we have to go to the integration modules and then you have to uh, able the webhooks so that is uh, what a little bit confusing i was uh, also well confused a little bit uh, in the beginning of this tutorial because the fluent crm uh, has the webhook by default but here you got to toggle it on so there's a difference <laughs> i don't know why but that's just the way it is so when we have that then we go into the forms we make a new form and as you can see here the form this is the form that we use and just select everything that you want to be on this uh, fluency RAM from the other website so the first name the last name the email in this case so uh, when we go back to the keys then you see here the first name the last name we don't use that we only use the first name and the email and, and the last name sorry the last name also the last name and the last name so first name last name and email and the other things we don't use you can use them but in this case we make it simple and we don't use it so uh, then we have a uh, conditional logic uh, so uh, when you see here uh, this is the condition relation that we're gonna use later on and um, look at the name att attribute it can be anything what you want it doesn't matter but the other name attributes the first name has to be first name and where do you grab that key and that key you grab from the webhook that you have made so uh, first name is the first name last name is the last name key and that's the only thing that you have to do now um let me grab a little bit of a little bit of water <sighs> actually it's a nice beer <laughs> don't tell my mom well um what you think that you can do uh, is that you uh, use uh, the first name and the last name so the input fields and you're using the first name and the last name there's the name fields and then you say from okay i will toggle this off uh, the last name i will only use the first name and then by the uh, advanced options then i select here and i make the name attribute first name no it doesn't work so forget about it 
what you have to do is uh, just the text and embed it in here and duplicate it and the first one must be name and the, the second one must be less name so there's a little bit um, yeah, a little bit words I've uh, found it out also uh, with uh, the submissions for for uh, WooCommerce uh, with uh, the uh, fluent form and uh, I uh, reach out to the uh, to the support and they say that they are going to work on it so there are a little bit box in uh, fluent uh, form pro with uh, the meta keys but uh, I'm sure that they're gonna fix it very soon okay so we have the meta keys email is the email and if you want to use the other uh, meta keys then you can also copy and paste them and these are the customer fields that you have made by yourself you can make as many as you want so when you want uh, the, the URL then you can uh, use the, the uh, hidden fields uh, it's not if if hidden the name attribute is not if if hidden um, but you use uh, in in other cases well it's not a name attribute but it's uh, the um, placeholder but it's just the fields hidden so when you go here then you see uh, the hidden fields somewhere on the rainbow let's see uh, Probably you already saw it. Uh, maybe we're advanced. Uh, I'm sure that you are have saw it. Ah, here it is. Hidden. Okay. Let's go on. So um, this is the conditional logic. If you can see here, they can choose to yes or no. You have to make it required. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, it always uh, gonna post uh, the contacts to the Fluent CRM. So make sure that you have uh, make it required so they can choose: Do I want to subscribe? Yes or no. And you can also use other fields, uh, multiple check boxes, and then say: Will you subscribe uh, for this website or for this website? You can make it as crazy as you want. The sky is the limit, it's all up to you. Uh, once you understand the basic, then you can go everywhere. I have also made a tutorial about CurioBot and uh, other webhooks. Um, when you're using a bot, then they can uh, be added to the contact list. So it's the same thing, but then we're using uh, CurioBot or uh, Continually or something like that. Webhooks are everywhere and they are wonderful. If you know how they work, it's just crazy, you know? So, um, yeah, that is it basically. It's super simple, it's super easy, you can do it. Even you can do it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so when we are going to the conditional logics, when we're going here to the... Conditional logics. So you have here the webhook. Eh? You only see this when you have installed it. So uh, you, you add new, and then when you've done that, you, then you have here the webhook. You're going to paste the URL. So uh, this is the URL that you've made. This one. And you're gonna embed it in here. And you can choose for post. You can make it a Johnson or a form. Johnson is better. Well, actually, Ajax is, is, is the best, but in this case, it's Johnson. And then uh, you have uh, to enable the condition logic and send that notification if all of the following meshes. And then you can say abonné. So this was the first name, last name the email and this was the checkbox is eagle to yes you see here yes and no and it must be yes and you can see here that you have a lot of other um, 
things you have also uh, regular expressions but uh, when you're choosing that and you know how it works you can choose that as well no they are not regular expressions okay uh, whatever Mm, okay. So that was it. Um, I think that I've told you everything that you need to know about this. Yeah. The tutorial is uh, is over. You can also use uh, Anconi Animator. It's also uh, using uh, webhooks. And when you're using Anconi um, Animator, um, then you can also uh, choose for uh, a new recipe. And then going to the everyone and then confirm and then use the webhooks. As you can see here, this is the pro version, the webhooks. And then you can choose for the form. Uh, but this is another uh, tutorial. I'm not going to explain it now. But I already made it, the, the tutorials about uh, Anconi Animator. But I uh, think if you don't subscribe, subscribe because I'm going to show you that later on. Thanks for watching and have a nice day or evening.